So, my topic is to talk about Japan as the test market for the world, for the aging society. This is the fastest aging population in world history. If you look at these statistics here, 25% of the Japanese population is already 65. 22 million, which is the population of my country, Australia, is already over 70. And 700,000 people roughly turned 70 last year. And with the baby boom coming along, we will suddenly find this is accelerating. So how is Japan going to resolve this issue? Because this is critical for the future success of this country, and in my opinion, for the success of many other countries as we go forward with the aging population. I'm going to show you a whole series of products, bang, 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 like this, which uh, I think was going to blow your mind. Let's go. So, very prosaic. The biggest market for disposable diapers in Japan is now adults, not babies. It's far beyond the baby market, right? We have now segmented targets like this. This is for adults who can still walk. We have these for people who have Alzheimer's. They have a different type of diaper, right? We have this group who are rehabilitating. They can still walk, but they need diapers to go up and down. So this is a brand new market category, which is now, uh, I think, will take the world by storm as we get further along. Honda is coming out with a new thing to help old, older workers, for example, have trouble getting down and getting up again, right? So this means you can go there all day, every day now, doing that sort of stuff. Uh, as we get a little older, we have trouble not being 15-year-old playing with cell phones, and you don't need a PhD in cell phoneology to use this, right? It's uh, very simple, and this is the latest Android coming out in a couple of weeks. Right? We all would like, as we get old, to be like this, if we could, right? <laughs> this, is, this is a serious group of ladies who can still do the splits at 66, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive. But in Japan, the biggest concern everybody has, is someone has, is anyone who's 35, 40 years of age has an adult, parent, relative, or somebody who is neta kiribisan Japanese, who's either bedridden or coming on to Alzheimer's. What we want to do, if we can, is to be pin-pin korori, we say in Japanese, right? Pin-pin means being healthy, and korori means you roll over and die. That's, so you want to go there, you don't want to die with tubes up your nose, right? So that's what we're talking about here. So it's very important. So what's happened is, for example, this professor who's using brain imaging came up with a learning therapy. He published a book on this. Believe we can slow down the onset of Alzheimer's, right? And Nintendo took this up, ran with this, and created the brain training game, which took 30, 50 million copies throughout the world, right? Uh, this is now being tested in clinical trials versus traditional medical products, and we're waiting to see which one's going to win. Now, this is a bit of a complicated chart, but essentially the red one says this is the young boys who kill themselves in traffic accidents under 25 years of age, right? The bottom one in blue is the number of people now over 65, and that's now overtaken the young boys. So more people over 65 are dying in traffic accidents than we find in uh, young children. Now, just think for a moment then, here we are in a nation of 35, 40 million people over the age of 65, 70, with almost no reflexes, eyesight gone, possible onset of Alzheimer's, and maybe wearing the latest dosable tire for those who drive cars, and you have a vision of what's going to happen in the future. Right? What we're seeing here is, coming out of this brain training stuff, is Toyota, Nissan, all these other people now are coming up with new products which will stop these problems, and you'll have a whole new series of cars coming out of Japan. We already have already the world leadership in that area. Right? Country areas, what do we do with the small cities? There are now test cities which are tying in with wireless and everything else, because Japan is one of the world leaders in this field. Right? Intelligent toilets, right? Here we have a whole toilet at home. Right? We have the ability to test your blood pressure, test your wee wee, take the blood sugar, and send it back to the hospital, right? And as you get old, you can sit down like this, but you can't get up. So what do we do? We have this new machine which pushes you back up again. And of course, blood pressure measures have to be fashionable, so away we go. This is another area we can now teach people to walk again within six months after being netakiti, bedridden from uh, stroke. And we're getting 70% of people are now walking again. Robotoc beds, 
con wheelchairs controlled by brain waves, ultimately trying to get robots controlled by waves, right? Paro, Paro the furry seal, he doesn't do poo-poo, he doesn't bite, and therefore he's a very nice thing to have in the old people's home. Target is aging society for the rest of Asia. China, with one child policy, is going to be two to 300 million people in less than six to eight years, right? It's a big, big market. And finally, just to, before we finish, crisis is in Chinese in two characters in Japanese, danger and opportunity. I think there's huge opportunities in this area. And finally, if we think we all have to go eventually, Japan has now invented a safe space, a six-story graveyard. You get cremated, push it in, and uh, round you go, and then if your friends want to visit you, put an ATM card in, up comes the thing, and you say, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>